stay up, build your altars, head stay up, can't be held down, head stay up, put your feet off the ground.
Read Mathis, y'all.
Tommy on the saxophone. Damn, damn, damn. That was a bird song arranged by Tommy Okuda right there. He put that crazy arrangement together. That is beautiful music. And we started with Addicts of My Life, arranged by Ross Eustace over there, featuring Reed Mathis on the guitar. So fun to have you here, Reed. We've been we've been rehearsing this material with Reed extensively for the past five minutes. That's how badass Reed is. He's actually, we, he, he didn't even know we are going to play that song. That was so fun. I think he's going to come back up with us more. And uh, speaking of super surprise guests, we have somebody in the house who's uh, a member of the Jazz Mafia Choral Syndicate, also a solo artist, recording artist, writer, very talented. Came in at the last minute and learned this tune and is killing it. Please welcome to the stage Miss Erin Honeywell right here. Oh, that's, yeah, Thank you, you so did much. change into your show shoes. Well, it got chilly. All right. And can you tell that I did um, sound check in my flats because the microphone stand is <laughs> quite short now? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good on the patio. Um, I want to give a shout out to our crew here making it happen. You see them running around. This is Jetpack Steve Riddell right here doing all the cameras and the live switching. And we also have our good friend Will here on the live sound mix. Where did he go? He's a ghost. I see. He's they're constantly they're constantly working up here, making it making it work for us. Um, and uh, we also have April here, who is our house manager. April, give it up. Yeah, hi, April. <laughs> um, and is it Amy's birthday? Is that what's going on? Happy birthday, Amy. 
we play you happy birthday, but you, we got a really weird ver version of it. I don't know if you would like it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> maybe later. Great hits. <laughs> um, okay, so, okay, now I'm going to take a deep breath. <sighs> Reset. Get in the mood for this one. I think you're going to dig this. Our version of Stella Blue. Thank you. 
Aaron Honeywell, first time Thank singing you. with this band. Thank you. Not scared at all. <laughs> totally fearless.
Y'all make it. Y'all make it look good. All right. You down to uh, jump back up later, maybe? Yes, I will. All right. All right. So uh, <coughs> this project has been a lot of fun. It's probably one of the more challenging things that I've tried to do is to, uh, or that we've tried to do is to take a repertoire that is completely based around guitars and play it without guitars for the most part. Tonight's actually the first time with Reed joining us uh, a little bit. It's the first time we've had a guitar uh, with this lineup. And I just got to say, I got to give props to this, this band for kind of going along with my crazy idea. Everybody putting in their own arrangements and their own expertise in it. Um, I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. But I think that we should all encourage each other to um, push ourselves into things that are uncomfortable. And so uh, this was one of those things for me. I'd been actually trying to put this project together for about eight years. I, I toured with Mickey Hart from the Grateful Dead in 2013 uh, or 14 or something. And that was kind of when I first started thinking about it, like how weird and crazy and fun would it be to do a bunch of Grateful Dead music on mostly horns? And, um, and playing with Mickey, I wrote down a few song titles I thought were, were fun, would work maybe with the right amount of rehearsal and the right uh, attention to the arrangements and stuff. And then um, uh, just about exa exactly a year ago, I got a call to, uh, to go play with Bob Weir. And that has been an experience that has inspired me even more to dig into this music. And I found a lot more songs. I actually asked Bob one day, I don't know if I told you guys, I said, hey Bob, so putting this brass band together, um, is there any tunes that come to mind, like any tunes that you would think would be really cool from the, the Dead Songbook that uh, you'd like to hear a brass band play? And, um, you know, it'd be great if he was just like, oh yeah, man, there's this one tune, like it's a really rare song and da 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 da, -da. He's like, oh man, you know, you gotta, you gotta pick the ones that make you excited. It's like, okay, Zen master, <laughs> this is a good answer. And uh, so that's what we did. And I basically just sent, sent once everybody said, yeah, Adam, your idea sounds kind of crazy, but we're down to try it. Uh, I just said, hey, you know, everybody pick, pick songs that make you excited. And so um, thanks, Bob Weir, for that great advice. And I also do need to give a shout out to Reed Mathis, who's also been a guru to me. Uh, he's, he's quite an expert in this music. And so um, I've actually hit him up a bunch of annoying texts through uh, the past year. And <coughs> he's given me some really good advice so uh, anyway, we're going to uh, dig into one that I'm sure everybody recognizes, a little bit of China Cat Sunflower. And um, <coughs> yeah, it gets into uh, some 7-4 time signature for everybody who likes to count along. Um, you got to wait for it, though. It comes at the right moment. And we're also going to feature John Tuba on this one as well. It's one of my favorite parts. Bye. 
Yes, that is the one and only Rich Armstrong. Yes, yes. so fun. Uh, we're going to do an arrangement by our sousaphone player, John Tuba. He also goes by the name of Jensen Engineering. If you want to look up his great music on the interwebs, I highly recommend it. Money back, guarantee. You know why? Because you don't have to pay for anything these days. Um, we're having a great time. Pod Patio, how are you feeling tonight? Make some noise. One of my favorite things is when audiences are uh, forced to be put on the spot to improvise animal noises, and I just saw the moon, so I think we should all howl at the moon. One, two, three. Oh my god. Sorry, Ella. <laughs> I think that's the first one for Ella. She just They just turned seven, and they've never... They're like, wait a second, that's my job. <laughs> The doggies' names are Ella and Theo. Uh, Theo's the boy dog with the short hair, and Ella's the girl dog with the dreadlock. The dreadlock is 100% natural. I was wondering, it's not an extension. It's not an extension. Uh, it, my wife wants to cut it off. What do you think? Should we keep it or cut it? Yeah. All right, sorry, Shana.
Eustis. for a couple more and um john john does such a great job at so many things i think it's uh it's only fair that we feature him on another one of his his other instruments and he's going to jump over there on the vocal mic and we're going to do a beautiful tune lost sailor any fans of lost sailor out there all right it's one of my favorites <coughs> Whew. got a little bit winded on that one we're going to feature super special guest noah zebley on the baritone saxophone right now Come on, give her some love, y'all. Noah Zebley. Check, checkity, check. I met Noah in Kyle Athade's big band. Kyle Athade is a, a band leader. He leads a jazz orchestra that's, that's amazing. It's insane, actually. And uh, I was filling in at a rehearsal one time, and I was like, sitting right next to this baritone sax player who was just totally nailing every fucking note. And I was definitely flailing. And I look over, and it's little Noah Zebley in high school, like just totally killing it, be beating everybody at the sight reading. So I figured, hey, we'll challenge her. We'll get her in here. And uh, we're going to play um, a, some fun stuff, turn her loose a little bit on Lost Sailor. You ready? OK.
Never been Oh, a face that you've never seen John Tuba on vocals, Noah Zebley on the baritone saxophone. We got time for one more piece. Uh, we'd like to uh, get Aaron Honeywell back up here. Reed Mathis, please join us if you feel so inclined. We're going to close it out here with some uh, hits that you all would recognize. I'd like to thank you for being here for Jazz Mafia Tuesdays number 44. Thanks to everybody who's watching online. I don't know if you all know this, but when we started Jazz Mafia Tuesdays almost exactly a year ago, our home version, it was just a live stream. There was no extra people here, none of that. It was, uh, it was, it was a little bit different, and we're so thankful to have you all here. So thanks for everybody for being safe, you know, doing the vaccination thing, doing everything we can to be safe, to be able to at least be out like this in a space where we can share, be, uh, build community, and have all sorts of other magic happen. So uh, on behalf of the entire band and Jazz Mafia, Thank you for doing your part. Thanks for being here and supporting your local independent underground neo retro Afro futuristic jazz uh, musicians. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much. Place till you don't 
got just to stand on the beat. Yeah. You say a living, but we all gotta eat. But you're here alone, don't you want to If mercy's a business, I wish it for you. More than just ashes when your dreams come true. Fire, fire on a mountain. Fire, fire on a mountain. Oh, fire, fire on a mountain. Fire, fire on a mountain. Your eyes 
look from your mother's face Wildfire seen on a sand and stone May the fog wind blow you safely home Yeah, roll away the dew Hey, yeah, yeah, roll away the dew Roll away the dew Roll away the dew Jazz Mafia Tuesdays, make some noise for this band. We play all night, but we got to get going. We got to be respectful to our neighbors. Thanks, neighbors. Let's give it up for our neighbors. Everybody clap real quiet for the neighbors. <laughs> on behalf of this entire band, how about it for first time playing with us, Aaron Honeywell on vocals. Thanks, Aaron. Super special guest, Reed Mathis, just joining us. Surprise visit. 
On the trumpet and vocals, Rich Armstrong. On the trumpet and tambourine, Ross Rowdy Eustace. On the tenor saxophone, Tommy Okudo. Special guest, Noah Zebley on the big baritone saxophone. On the other big horn, that's John Tuba and vocals. John Tuba, John Cyberlick. Our drummer, Darian Gray, making it happen. My name's Adam Thies. We're Grateful Brass, representing Jazz Mafia. Jazz Mafia Tuesday's one-year anniversary this month. This is our 44th episode. Thanks for being here, here on the live potty, pot patio. And uh, we hope that you'll be back soon. And we'll see everybody online soon as well. On behalf of Jazz Mafia,